Hey guys, once again, greetings and salutations. She Bastion Mare Fox here. I apologize for my last video cutting off a little bit. An app kind of disrupted it. So, um, I'm going to continue on. This is part two of my Japan haul. So, I thank you guys for understanding, I hope. And I do apologize once again for this inconvenience. Here is another one of those designs that I got at the 7-Eleven in Japan. And for, for the um, Sailor Moon pouches, of course. I also actually used one of these for um, as my kind of change purse because Yen actually has quite a bit of change. And it's like 500 yen equals almost $5 in the USA. And it comes in a coin. So, therefore, that's why it is the way it is. Now, um, we actually did some different things this year. For example... Yes, I went to the Tokyo Disney Resort. We actually planned this. I, w I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. But somebody in our group wanted to go. So, you know, we went. And here's my Japan Rail Pass for, like, Kyoto and the JR line. Really, really, really good stuff. So, like I said, I'm just going through the, through the free stuff right now and pamphlets and stuff. Tokyo Skytree is always an amazing place to go. And the Samurai Museum as well. That's in the red light district. So please keep your kids away from the, all the red light stuff. Now, I'm not sure what this is, but I felt it was really pretty. So I just decided to keep it instead of throwing it away. We Now, in Kyoto, we actually went to the Golden Temple. And we also actually went to um, the Kyoto Animation Studios building that unfortunately caught fire by somebody, and we went there to pay our respects. I, of course, did pay my respects, and that is something that you should do. You should also respect the people and the culture around you. Don't do anything that someone else would do, all right? That's just unacceptable in my personal opinion. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that right now. This is all the free stuff that I got. I know it's in Japanese. I understand that, but... It just looks so sugoi, which is awesome in Japanese, that I just had to get it, you know? It was one of those things that just tempted me to do it. It's just something really, really special to me. Um, now let's see if I can flip these over. Like, there's more of it. There's Comic Party 31 and all that other good stuff. Now, when I get to the stuff that I actually purchased, that's going to be a bit of an explanation besides the Japan neck pillow and the... <clears throat> Pardon me, all for one pillow, um, all for one um, bag that I got. And, of course, the Sailor Moon um, restaurant and the cookie time stuff. <clears throat> Pardon me, guys. It's a bit of an allergy season at this time. So please forgive me for that. But I, as I always say, I am not a professional YouTuber. I do these out of hobby and nothing more. So I really can't be bothered with that. And actually, over there, they were actually doing, like, the Pokemon, the first movie remake, Mewtwo Strikes Back. So, I found this, and I just, you know, what the heck, why not just take it? Um, it looked really, really cool. I mean, I know it's for something for kids to do, but at the same time, it just looked really, really nice. And just awesome like that. There we go, there's Pokemon Sword and Shield stuff right there as well. So, I just decided to, to you know, just grab it just for the sake of it. Um... And uh, Autumn Fair 2019 in Animate, I'm sure that's already taken place, but hey, what are you going to do, you know? I mean, seriously. And, of course, this looks awesome as well. Um, let's see what else we've got. Um, okay, wow, look at that. Okay, that looks pretty darn awesome, if you ask me. I like that for the Pokemon Sword and Shield thing. I think the game this year is going to be based off of, yes, of course, Britain, but also their sports. Like the football, which is soccer in our country, in, in our country here in the, in the United States. Anyway, um, I may have grabbed more swag than I realized because some of it is doubles, but that's a good thing because I'm going to use that and put it together in some packages that I, where I, when I sell some merch that I don't need anymore, and I can just do it like that. But a lot of these are also pretty darn cool looking, and I'm going to keep at least one copy, at least for myself. Which I always think is nice. So, that's what's happening right now as I'm going through all this. I just really wanted to do it. And like I said, this is... <laughs> some. Like I said, you're going to see some doubles in here, guys. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I roll right now. So please bear with me. But, 
yes, Japan is an absolutely wonderful experience, even the second time around. And we actually, Johnny, my friend, actually took us to a festival this year at night. And you get to see, like, what you sometimes see in animes, like Azumanga Dayo and all that other good stuff. You see, you just see a whole bunch of food, stalls, stands, haunted house, games. It was really, really, really nice. It was really beautiful. And I couldn't, and I was just taken aback by it all. Like, I owe this friend of mine, Johnny, so much right now. He was an absolutely amazing doll to be with during a few days. So honestly, I really couldn't have asked for better. I really couldn't. Okay. Now, whew, without moment ado, let's get started. My rambling is over temporarily. Well, not really temporarily, but you know, you get the gist. Now, where do I start? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start because... Well, actually, no, I'm not going to start there because... Um, well, actually, you know what? Nah, no. Okay, I think I know where I'm going. All right. Okay, here we go. Um... At I when we went to Ikebukuro for a bit, I did buy a lot of Sebastian merch that I saw that I may not have had. Uh, when I got back to the United States, so only a couple of things were doubles, but, you know, um, it wasn't that bad at all. I'm going to show off the Sebastian merchandise and stuff later, because, honestly, a lot of it is mixed up, and I really didn't want to separate it by day. So, yes, at Tokyo Disney Resort... I did get a couple of things, and a couple of things only. These small, cute little keychains. One of Stitch, who is awesome, of course. And Simba, because I grew up with the Lion King, and I love Simba. So, that was definitely really a fun time. I actually got a Baymax one for one of my friends who was with me during the time. Now, I actually also got these pens as well. Um, one of them was from a place called Don Quixote, which I honestly um, was amazed by what I saw. I liked what I saw. And it, it was just like, it was a grocery store, but it also had some merch in it as well. So that was definitely something else. And I couldn't have asked for a better time. Um, well, someone's calling me, but unfortunately they'll have to wait because I'm in the midst of doing something and I'm not going to interrupt just for that. That's not who I am. That's not how we roll. Okay. So now, um, we get to these. Oh boy, these, these are panda ears. Okay. And I got them by giving a little bit of yen and, um, getting a, in being able to pull out whatever the label was and win a prize. This was at the Maid Cafe, and I was actually wearing Neko ears that they lent to us while we were there. They were washed, of course, but it was just so cool the way they were always going, meow, 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 delicious, delicious. It was awesome. What was really, really cool was that they were also in, they were also really surprised by the bag that I had, which was a Black Butler Kuro Shisuji messenger bag. We were fangirling about it. We were fangirling about Black Butler, who our favorite characters were, and all that stuff. Um, so, honestly, that was just really, really awesome to see and know and to be able to experience. It was just really something else, and I just couldn't be more thankful for that, to be quite frank. So, that was definitely a really good day for me as well. Um, now... Um, I also went to the Animate in Shibuya, which is also where the May Dreaming Cafe was. And that's where the, the panda ears came from that I just showed you. Check this out. I mean, I know I already have one of these, but, you know, when it comes from Japan, <laughs> it's more special, you know? It's like, it's just very special to me. So, that's what I got at the Shibuya over there, at the Animate in Shibuya over there. Forgive my ramblings, please, once again. And... Yeah, I think this was definitely worth it because, yeah, I could always use a good Sebastian plushie, especially when I pick one from Japan myself. <laughs> okay, now, okay. Now, before I get into these, let me just actually get into a few more things. Um, like I said, I'm not going in order of the days. We went to the Unko Museum. Now, if you don't know what Unko means, it means fecal matter, poop. The Poop Museum. So, when we got there at first, they told us to, you know, push with all our might on any 
color toilet that we wanted. And some, a couple of my friends po um, pooped out pink poop, but I think me and the other person who was in their teens who came with us, I think we pulled out, we pooped out gold. <laughs> it was quite funny to be honest. I mean, honestly, it wasn't as disgusting as one would think. I mean, honestly, it just looked really, really cool. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll w carry this stick of poop around while I'm, you know, exploring the place, taking pictures, all that good stuff. Oh my goodness, those pictures took a whole good day and a half to upload, I'm telling you. Um, but anyway, we also went to this place called Sunshine City, and we actually went to the underground portion to start. And, um... Ooh, me and one of my other friends, we were looking for Ida bags because the Ida bags in Japan are a bit more high quality and maybe hopefully a little more cheaper than what you would find in the USA. Now, um, okay, so I went there and I, we, we were in the th a three, a store where everything, almost everything was $3. Now, I actually pointed out these Ida bags here and I also asked, um, a person to the best of my ability or the store person to the best of my ability how much are these she said they were three dollars i was like i mean she said they were like 300 yen okay this, let me rephrase it was like a store where almost everything was 300 yen i apologize so she said 300 i'm like oh my goodness sweet so i got me one of these eat a bag backpacks here which i'm honestly using for my sebastian eat a bag which is in construction at this point in the works and I also got this one as well, just in case, because I think I'm going to have a lot of charms. And I'm not really looking forward to that, to having to place every single one and make sure everything is visible and whatnot. I'm going to need some help with that. Maybe my friends Kiki and Iki can help me out with that. I would really appreciate that if they could. So I'm going to place those right there. And I also got this plastic one as well, just in case I wanted to use um, another bag to put in it and then put charms into that bag. And, and, you know, display them like that. So, that's why I also got this one here. Which I believe is from Daiso. Which is a the dollar store in Japan, basically. Okay, now... And, like, this was... This was a, ba a Black Butler bag that was, like, Halloween-themed. And I just loved it. Please ignore the price. I'm not... I, I didn't have time. I just really wanted to get this video over with. But this was definitely something that I was really excited to get as well as other things as well that I'm going to be showing off soon. So I'm going to get this little, these bags here a break for right now, and I'm going to move on to these, because, oh yeah, you see the tail sticking out, don't you? And you see the tag sticking out. Yeah, it's a Charizard. Big whoop, one of height, just kidding, sorry. Okay, now, um, I'm going to actually put some of these over here as well, because some of those are also part of what I want to talk about. So, okay, this, this pouch right here, I went to the Inari Shrine in Kyoto, which is like the shrine of the foxes. It was very beautiful. There was a gotcha, um, there was a gotcha thing, which is like, you know, you put in coins, you turn the knob, and then you get us, then you get something in a bubble or something. Now, I, this is, this is what I got out of all the pouch designs. I mean, it wasn't one of my most favorite, but it was still very unique, and I loved it, and I just decided, you know what, I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I love it. So, this was definitely, definitely worth something, and I love it. I love it. So, I'm going to place that right there for now. Okay. Now, um, I also got this for myself. Anytime I go to Inari Shrine, it, since it was the second time, I always want to get something foxy. So, I got these two foxes hugging each other. And honestly, I love what they're doing. It's... It, Inari Shrine's amazing, okay? Let's let's be realistic here. I definitely recommend that area of Kyoto. I really do. I really think you guys should check it out. Oh my god, these things are so adorable. Like, seriously? Oh, I'm gonna put that over there right now. Okay. Now, yeah, I know I'm rambling and I'm sorry, but, you know, there's a lot to say and a lot to, to tell. It's, I mean, here we go. Another Unko ticket. We also got this glow stick from May Dreamin Cafe, which is always cool. Um, now, let's see. I'm trying to dig deep and find the... Okay. Um, this was actually a keychain that I, I found in Akihabara. I know I know there's another one. Oh, and here's a popper I got from May Dreamin. Um, so I'm going to put that right there. 
I know, I'm rambling again, I'm very sorry. Oh, here's the Sailor Venus thing that was on a straw at the Sailor Moon Dream, um, at the Sailor Moon, Shining Moon restaurant and cafe. So that's always nice to see. Um, let me see. I'm trying to figure this one out. Yep, this is me rummaging through my stuff. Isn't, isn't that just amazing? I'm being sarcastic, but I'm not sarcastic all the time. Oh, okay, let me, before I show off another keychain. This is also the Sailor Mercury plushie I got from the Shining Moon restaurant. Since Mercury is one of my favorites. And actually, I think she's my number one favorite at this point. And that was just something else. I, 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 li I like Mercury, so... I mean, I love Mercury. That's let, Let's be realistic here. Um, so, um, here's the deal. There's going to be a part three, unexpectedly, unfortunately, because of the fact that this video is now 15 minutes long. So, so please stay tuned. There is a part three. With that being said, She Bastion Mirafox out for two minutes.